Hi guys, Ren here and welcome to the workshop. Today I want to show you a little upgrade that I just got for the workshop itself. This time not talking about the bikes or maybe a bit, but that's later on. So nowadays I have pretty much all of the tools that I need for basically any bike shop that, that comes this way. So from the wheel dishing tool to the derailleur hanger alignment tool, uh, shock pump, grease gun, bearing press, everything uh, necessary basically. Lately I also got this very neat Jaguar needle driver and hydraulic hose cutter tools which are extremely neat now that I've done a couple of mountain bikes and also working on my uh, mother's bike which has hydro road discs and other hydro road disc bikes so uh, pretty handy stuff but before that I had them all just lined up on the shelves now I decided that I need some proper um, arrangement like a tool wall that I have here because we're, well, we already have some professional tools for the KTM motorcycles so I decided to get something like that and I found that my local park tool distributor they make this I think they actually make this in house so it's not a big deal it's just a perforated uh, little steel plate that goes on the wall and then you can buy various different mounts my SRAM bleed kit here this little shelf I will probably adding some more items to make this part a bit neater. I also have a bit of spares, spare space over here, but I think it turned out to be pretty good. Now something uh, that comes to my mind about the bikes, so to give you a bit of an update. Uh, you may have seen in an earlier video, my S-Works Epic is pretty much race ready. Everything is set up, brakes are bled, crank is set, saddle height, cockpit everything but the damn wheels just won't uh, arrive I had to wait basically more than three weeks for them now even though they said they have the rims in stock so uh, that's pretty disappointing but in case they arrive I think they should on Thursday or maybe Friday then I'll hopefully be able to make complete rundown of the epic and also a build video I in my experience you generally like uh, those kind of videos so I'm looking forward to bringing that one uh, then as for the other bikes the Madone is now fully upgraded I didn't think it could be improved but actually the MV cockpit and the new saddle big improvements surprisingly uh, I've yet to try the Berk Lupina saddle and as you can notice my time shop bike is finally back you haven't seen it uh, for a while now why is that? well I've sold my two spoke wheel sets and I've sold my head wheel set so basically I'm now without a proper time trial uh, wheel set I have the MV 7.8s for now for the time trial bike and even in these I had to uh, subject my rear rim for a warranty claim and now that I've changed it I finally have the wheel back and able to ride the time trial bike outside of the rollers I have two time trials uh, coming up so I'm definitely a bit rusty on these ones so I'll need to make uh, or ride some some more on the TT bike to get back uh, to the time trialing thing and my Cannondale I'm going to change the front wheel bearings and yeah since the Epic is now ready it will be up for sale very soon I think the bearings should arrive on Friday and yeah it's also a race ready race worthy bike with a complete service so I hope I will find a new uh, lucky owner for it. Okay, so this was a little bit of an overview, upgrade, 
uh, from the workshop so you know what can you expect in the upcoming days in terms of videos and content uh, so I hope you will stay tuned for that and if you are indeed interested in seeing uh, the upcoming reviews then don't forget to tune into the channel later on uh, follow my Strava and Instagram accounts and of course subscribe to the YouTube channel it's all for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.